Thank you for being here. I really appreciate everybody coming out and appreciate everybody listening. My first poem is called The Sounds of the 14th Street Subway. The F train arrives, express to Queens, rattles in motion, click clack it speaks. Kick the can, you know I can. Kick the can, you know I can. Next to me, quietly click clacking, typing on a PC, I look over to see Marilyn Monroe images. And the backup singers say, stand clear of the closing doors, please. Now the train is humming and rattling and humming and rattling and a music band is buzzing hip hop from white earbuds. I try to listen in. What's that tune? <laughs> now the train is swaying again, clicking and clacking and clicking and clacking. And a performer enters the stage. Excuse me, everyone. I am very sorry to interrupt your evening. My husband was shot, and this is my little girl, and she's five years old. The shelf has turned us away. Can you get us a bite to eat? And then she's gone. And the train is swaying again, and we're forced into its rhythm, whistling now, the wind whirling, swirling, boogieing underground. And a new performer enters the stage. Good evening, everyone. All I say in the name of Mohammed, I am here as your brother, I have sandwiches in my bag because I'm here to feed the homeless. I'm working the late night shift. This is when we le reach out to the most homeless. Please help us help them. And then he's gone. And the train is rattling now. Zooming and zooming. Next stop, a longer ride under the East River. Through underwater tunnels, many voices combined in one. Subway music, boisterous fun, people standing, rock back and forth, backup dancers swaying to the rock and rail beat. There's a businessman sitting across from me trying to sleep. He got the beat down. His whole body moves with the train in sync. Out the subway car window, lights flash blare and blue, rat-a-tat red, yelp and yellow, subway party strobe lights. Next stop is mine. Gotta go, people. And then I'm gone. Thank you. I've been involved with an organization called Girls Right Now for the last four years, and it pairs professional writing women with high school girls at risk who are interested in writing. It's a really rewarding experience, and my next poem is based on the girls in the program, and if you want more information on Girls Right Now, look it up online or come talk to me. This is called Girl Writing Now. On the L train to Canarsie, writing lyrics on a forum, she has no paper. A bluesy beat cadence, she pens in purple shopping. Dreams fall out around her, a homeless guy smiles. She wears three feathers in her long dark hair. With her purr inkwell, she crafts words for Webster. She scribes her own saga. Shooting from this planet, she doesn't need a parachute. She'll loud, loudly leap and land on her feet. Text message reads, boom. Her reply is boom before the boom. When she reaches her destination, she gathers her dreams and allows the homeless guy to keep the one he smiled. Thanks. And I'm gonna get blown off this pier, I feel it, but thank you anyway if I get blown away. I, I really love everybody for being here. How his absence. Let us all put on our hoodies, bow our heads. He buys a can of iced tea and Skittles. Did he mention the word gun? He decides to ride the subway. He holds a wallet in his hand. Blood shed red. Life pulse ends unexpectedly, suddenly. Trayvon, Sean, Henry, Amadou. Unarmed and innocent, black gunned down. Angry and confused, tears fall on a rainy night for families. High school graduation that will never be. Wedding, no one will see. The book, unwritten, a father he will never be. Confrontations unexplained. Let us all put on our hoodies and bow our heads. This is called Silent War Cry. You feed on unspent ammunition. Translate emotions into armed militia. Your voice, staccato rifle fire. Your shrapnel fills my kitchen. I don't have a gun. I'm the peaceful one. The refrigerator's down. The microwave's critical. White flag now red. Battle can't be won. 
stop feeding me your unspent ammunition. This is called She Fell to Earth. His lyrics in her brain create the song she begins to live. His chorus becomes a hangman's noose. Now a lighted torch, she burns to embers in a flash. Ashes smoldering on frozen tundra. A woman with a kiln who molds pots of clay fingerless. This is called Kaleidoscope. Let color patterns erase your pain. Crystals turn in a cylinder. Mirrored pieces reflect hues magnified, shapes cast back, shapes transformed. Look into the kaleidoscope, look closely. Look beyond changing color patterns, beyond shifting shapes, beyond the risk of mirrors. Look deep, you are changing, you are colliding into yourself. Enter the kaleidoscope, turn the cylinder, become enraptured by colors that twirl. Do you remember colors? Colors that move before your eyes, colors you have the power to control. Can you control this kaleidoscope? Look up, you hold moonbeams in your fingers. You control the constellations. Can you know that? Sleep in solace this night. Let color patterns erase your pain. in the wind, like, you know, those like things that you see in front of a gas station or a car wash, like, <laughs> anyway, this is called At the Chelsea. The cover band plays blurred lines, beer is cold, legs are tan, far away my mind writes our story. I'm Nancy Spongin, we grunge around rat infested subway cars from CBGB to the bitter end, we room at the Chelsea. Your crazy man, Sid Vicious, already killing me. Still, I open the door and let you in. Thank you, thank you. Got a couple more, and I really thank everybody for everything. You guys are great. And thank goodness for the beautiful weather. Last year we were here in the rain, so thanks for this good weather. The wind is better than the rain, right? Be my garden. I need to cleanse myself. Dig myself into the dirt, sleep with daffodil bowls, breathe earth. I remember where last season's tomatoes grew, where the strawberry patch sent its runners through the hot peppers and the eggplants. I want to feel you again, to know you like I know the dirt in my garden. I'll rake last season's leaves from you, fertilize you, rejuvenate you. I want to introduce you to the praying mantis and the ladybugs so they can defend you from parasites. I want you soil ready so I can dig my hands in deep, plant a fragile seedling, water it, and watch it grow. Yeah. This is called Missing. Prell shampoo you left in my bathroom even after I asked you to take it with you. Don't know why I'm telling you this. Now that that green shampoo is gone, I have to confess, I saved a lock of your hair. Sometimes I take it out, it smells like you. And I'm gonna end with a poem called Spending the Day with Tinkerbell, which is based on a true story. Spending the Day with Tinkerbell. Journey to Gotham. Pixies ride unicorns to knights in armor. South of the border banquet, we stroll down canyons under a silver sky. Witches brews and toy stores, selfies with street murals. We scatter our dreams on the Lower East Side. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for being here.